This presentation will give you an overview of ABC Home and Commercial Services Employee Benefit Programs. If you're reviewing this during open enrollment, open enrollment will begin on August 1st and end on August 12th, 2016. The highlights for your 2016-17 plan year are listed on this slide. We're going to be introducing a new employee assistance program for you and your dependents. You still have two medical plans to choose from with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas. We're having no plan changes and no changes to your cost. You will only receive a new ID card if you change plan options. Compass is here to help you navigate the medical, dental, and vision benefits. Dental will continue through Assurant with no plan changes and no changes to your cost. And Vision will continue through Assurant using the VSP network with no plan changes and no changes to your cost. The voluntary plans will continue through Assurant via payroll deduction and those are the accident, critical illness, life, short-term disability, and long-term disability plans. Your enrollment instructions are listed on this slide. For open enrollment, you need to enroll between August 1st and August 12th of 2016. Please be sure to enroll early in case you have any questions. You'll need to log into Paylocity. And once in Paylocity and you're on your WebPay dashboard, hover your mouse over the gray box that says WebPay in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Click on Enterprise Web Benefits and this will take you over into Web Benefits. Once you're in Web Benefits, click on Start My Enrollment, and this will walk you through the process of enrolling in your coverages. You must log in to make any plan changes, to update your life insurance beneficiary, or to make adjustments to your wellness and or tobacco declarations. You do not have to log in if you choose to keep your benefits exactly the same as this year and you have no adjustments to make for your wellness or tobacco declarations. The elections that you make during open enrollment will go into effect on September 1st, 2016, and they will remain in effect until August 31st, 2017. You will not be able to make any changes after August 12th, 2016 to any of your elections unless you experience a qualified life event. One thing to note, if you do experience one of the life events noted on this page, you're required to make changes within 30 days of the event. If you wait beyond the 30 days, then it's no longer considered a qualifying event and you'll have to wait till open enrollment. ABC is excited to give you a new benefit this year. It's an employee assistance program through Alliance Work Partners headquartered here in Austin, Texas. Your EAP is a solution-focused counseling and problem resolution service. The sessions are designed to treat short-term issues and cover all types of issues including but not limited to those items listed here. Mar marital, family, elder care, child care, domestic violence, sexual orientation, pre-retirement, HIV, literacy, psychological, emotional, vocational, stress-related, and other concerns that affect both performance at your work and personal well-being. The services that will be provided to you are unlimited telephonic consultations. But if your telephonic consultations prove that you are in need of face-to-face -face counseling with a provider, they can provide you up to six face-to-face -face sessions with no cost to you at a local provider. And that is six face-to-face -face sessions per incident. So if you have multiple issues that come up throughout the year, you can use this service with six face-to-face -face sessions sessions each time. You're also provided with online resources and a safe ride program. If you or one of your dependents are unable to drive home due to intoxication, call a cab, save your receipt, and then file for reimbursement. You are also offered free consultation by phone through Law Access, and if you need face-to-face -face consultation through Law Access, then you're entitled to up to a 25% discount. HelpNet is a website summarizing the benefits that you have with Alliance Work Partners. 
And then WellCoach is unlimited telephonic health coaching and complimentary care with education resources for you and your family. You will be receiving information from Alliance Work Partners, but I also wanted to include their 24-7, 365-day-a-year call center information. Their call center is staffed by trained counselors, they're bilingual, and they also have translation services for up to 150 languages. Their toll-free number is 800-343-3822. Their TDD number is 800-448-1823. They have a teen hotline that specializes in dealing with teenagers. That number is 800-334-TEEN or 8336. You can email them at eap at alliancewp.com and they also have a website www.alliancewp.com. Please be sure to use this service throughout the year uh, and know that it is confidential. None of your personal information will be given to ABC. ABC will only pro be provided reports as to how many people utilize the service and what services were utilized. So please make sure you engage in this service and that you use it to its fullest potential so that we can continue offering it to you at no cost. As a reminder, health care reform does require that all individuals carry medical insurance. The penalty for not carrying medical insurance in 2016 is the greater of 2.5% of household income, or $695 per adult, and $347.50 for each dependent child, not to exceed $2,085. One thing to note, if you're eligible for insurance here at ABC, then you and your dependents are not eligible for a subsidy on the exchange. If you choose not to carry insurance and you're penalized, there are some exemptions from the penalty. Those exemptions are listed here and these are standard exemptions. Also keep in mind that ABC or Higginbotham cannot tell you if you qualify for one of these exemptions. Only Health and Human Services is able to determine that. In addition to the standard exemptions, there are also hardship exemptions. If you have any of these items listed here, you may not have to pay the penalty if you do not enroll in coverage. ABC or Higginbotham are unable to tell you if you qualify for either exemption. You would have to go to Health and Human Services. As you can see on this slide and as you hear every day, the national trends in health care are astonishing. The rates continue to increase year over year over year. ABC has made a very important decision in helping to control medical costs going forward. Instead of purchasing a fully insured plan through a medical carrier, ABC has decided to go self-funded. And what that means is, instead of paying profit to a fully insured carrier, ABC is actually paying for the claims out of its own money and is not paying that higher profit margin. You and your covered dependents will go see your doctor, go to the hospital just like you do today, and those claims will be sent to Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas. Once Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas processes those claims, those claims are actually paid by ABC and not Blue Cross Blue Shield. They'll issue the check, but the funding comes from ABC directly. When our claims increase, then your cost of coverage will increase because it's ABC paying those claims. So making better health care decisions will save both ABC money and may also result in more money being contributed to the profit sharing plan. ABC Home and Commercial Services is giving you a valuable resource called Compass. Compass, simply put, means support for you and your family. If you don't understand insurance and your benefit plans, make sure that you keep Compass's information handy. They can help you understand your benefits, help make sure you're with a great doctor, help save you money on medical care, help you pay less for your prescriptions,
and even help you reconcile medical bills. They can help you reconcile medical bills for you, your children, your spouse, even your parents. Not many people know that doctors and hospitals have different fees for the very same medical services, and these fees can vary greatly even within the Blue Cross Blue Shield network. In the example in the bottom right hand corner, this is an example of someone needing an MRI of the knee and the cost at three different locations. Hospital A charges $3,300, Hospital B charges $2,300, and the Diagnostic Imaging Center only charges $450. Please make sure that when you have a medical uh, procedure scheduled that you contact Compass and get your options. They want the best quality at the best cost for you and this can, this can help you save money as well as ABC and we can keep costs down in the future. Compass can also help you pay less for your prescriptions. In the examples here, we have Crestor, which is about $140. There's no generic equivalent for Crestor. However, there are clinical alternatives, Lovastatin, and you can get that clinical alternative for only $4. Compass can help um, coordinate this with your physician and the pharmacy in the event that you'd like to save that money. And the monthly savings is about $146. Another example is Effexor XR. It's $105. It actually does have a generic equivalent, which is only $36. But there are also clinical alternatives. Fluoxetine or Citalopram are both generics at $4 each. So depending on the choice you make, you could either save $69 per prescription or $101. And remember, ABC is self-funded, but ABC is paying these dollars. In addition to helping you find providers, find lower cost alternative medications, and finding the lower cost facility to have your procedure in, they can also help you with your medical bills. They can help you understand your coverage, resolve disputes with vendors, help you appeal charges, and coordinate refunds. What Compass does not do is they don't share any of your personal information with ABC. They don't provide medical advice and they don't replace your doctor. They don't provide assistance for medical emergencies and they don't receive money for recommending one doctor or hospital over another. We've gotten quite a few questions over the year with Compass and we've listed a few here just to reiterate their services. Can Compass assist with issues related to dental and vision? Yes, they can. Can Compass help review old bills? Yes. Can Compass assist members of my household who are on different insurance plan? Absolutely. How long will it take Compass to respond to my request with an answer? Well, most requests are answered by the next business day. Bill reviews and appeals often take longer, though. Does Compass need permission to speak with my doctor and or insurance company? Yes, you will need to fill out an authorization form giving Compass permission to advocate for you on your behalf. And can I access services online? Yes, once you're registered at member.compassphs.com. This is a look at their online tool. Compass has assigned ABC a dedicated health pro. All of their information is listed here on the screen. You can reach them via email or you can call the 800 number at 800-513-1667 and dial the extension. Your health pro is available Monday through Friday 8 to 6. Whether you've recently moved and looking for a new provider or if you're tired of overpaying for brand name prescriptions, if you have an upcoming medical procedure, or simply just wondering if a bill is correct, that's when you need to call Compass. Let them help you simplify health care. ABC is dedicated to helping its employees make informed health and lifestyle choices. It's part of their commitment 
They will reward you for participating in the Employee Wellness Program and taking an active role in your health and well-being. In order to receive the Wellness Participant Medical Premium Rate, you must complete the following steps. Step 1. Each year at open enrollment, you will have the opportunity to declare your status as a Wellness Participant or a Non-Wellness Participant. You will do this in the Online Enrollment Portal. Please note that by declaring you are not a Wellness Participant, you will not be eligible for the Medical Premium Discount until open enrollment period next year. Step 2. Complete the requirements in the box. First of all, get connected with Compass. This is, can be completed at the website listed, and all you do is click Register and follow the prompts to complete your profile in full. If you would previously completed your Compass profile, you need not do this again, but please log on to make sure all data and personal information is still accurate. The second step in this process is to get your annual preventive physical with routine blood work. So you'll receive an annual preventive screening with your physician, and the screening must include the following, height and weight, blood pressure, glucose, and a lipid profile panel. If you've had an annual preventive screening since July 1, 2016, please have your provider complete the screening verification form. Once you've completed this, you submit the screening verification form to Higginbotham by June 30, 2017. Employees enrolled in the group medical plan on or after June 1, 2017 will only need to complete their Compass Get Connected online profile to maintain the premium incentive for the 2017-2018 plan year. Employees enrolled in the group medical plan on or after July 1st will be grandfathered into the wellness program, premium wellness rates, and will begin at the next open enrollment. If you have a health factor that makes it unreasonably difficult or medically unadvisable for you to achieve these requirements, all you have to do is complete this form and send it into HR no later than June 30, 2017. The screening verification form is listed on this page. It will be in Paylocity or Web Benefits, and you must complete this form and submit it to Higginbotham on or before June 30, 2017 to earn your incentive beginning September 2017. Again, complete this by June 30, 2017 to earn your incentive for next plan year beginning September 2017. Blue Cross Blue Shield has a website that you can access as well, and it's Blue Access for Members. All this information is in your interactive enrollment guide. <clears throat> you still have two medical plans to choose from with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas. You have a base plan and a buy-up plan. These plans have not changed from last year. The benefits that I'll be discussing are your in-network benefits. If you choose to go out of network, that will cost you more money out of your pocket. On both plans, when you go see a physician, you'll have a copayment, whether it's a primary care physician or a specialist. You'll see on the base plan, your primary care copay is 30 and your specialist copay is 45. On the buy-up, it's 25 for the primary care and 40 for the specialist. You do not have to meet your deductible for these services. If you need urgent care, if your doctor's office is closed and you need to uh, see a provider that's not an emergent situation, you can go to one of the urgent care facilities. Your copayment for an urgent care clinic is only $50 on both plans. Please make sure you do not go to a freestanding emergency clinic and expect to pay the urgent care copay because that does not apply to the freestanding emergency rooms. You also have copays for your prescriptions. Other than those items, anything that you have done will be applied towards your deductible and then you have to pay coinsurance. On the base plan, your deductible is $4,000 for an individual and $8,000 for a full family. On the buy-up plan, it's $2,000 for an individual and no more than $4,000 for your entire family. Once you meet your deductible, then everything is covered at coinsurance. 
On the base plan, you'll pay 30% after your deductible, and on the buy-up plan, 20% after your deductible. So for any inpatient hospitalization, outpatient surgery, or outpatient testing, you will first have to meet your deductible, and then you'll pay coinsurance. When you go to an emergency room, you have a $200 facility copayment, but for all other services, those services will be applied towards your deductible and coinsurance. You can see that going to the emergency room will be costly, so please reserve the emergency room for those true emergency, room, emergency visits and use urgent care when you can. Your prescription drugs at retail are broken out by generic, preferred brand, and non-preferred brand. When you get a generic medication, it's $10 preferred brand 45 and non-preferred brand 70 when you're on the base plan. When you're on the buy-up plan, it's still $10 for generic, but only 35 for your preferred brand and 60 for the non-preferred brand. You do not have to meet your deductible for your pharmacy items, and you do have mail order that you can utilize at two and a half times your copayment, so you'll receive a 90-day supply and save half of a copayment. On both plans, you have an out-of-pocket maximum and for an individual as well as for a family. We have that broken down between medical and prescriptions. Your medical out-of-pocket includes your deductible and all copayments and coinsurance. On the base plan, the most that you would pay on medical is $5,350 for an individual and $10,700 for a full family. The prescriptions are on top of that. The most you would pay in a year for your prescriptions would be $1,000 and $2,000 for the family. On the buy-up plan, your medical out-of-pocket is $3,000 for an individual, $6,000 for a family, and your prescriptions are still $1,000 for an individual and $2,000 for a family. Programs through Blue Cross Blue Shields you should be aware of are Step Therapy, Prior Authorization, Nurse Line, Blue Access Mobile, and Blue 365. Step Therapy is a requirement that you try proven cost effective medications before approval is given for non proven, more expensive medications. And these may include medications prescribed for cholesterol, depression, gastroesophageal reflux, pain relief, and rheumatoid arthritis. Prior authorization means that you have to have a medical review before they qualify for coverage under the pharmacy plan. And these types of medications may be for growth hormone, anabolic steroid, hepatitis C, oral fentanyl, things like that. The nurse line is available to you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to answer your medical questions. It's always answered by a registered nurse. This is the place to call if you have an urgent situation and you're not sure whether to go to the emergency room or an urgent care. Call the nurse line. They're available to help. Blue Access Mobile is just the mobile access for uh, Blue Access for members. And then Blue 365 is a discount program that allows you to get discounts on health care products that aren't covered by insurance, like health club memberships and weight loss programs. Be sure to check out www.blue365deals.com slash bcbstx. Your semi-monthly medical deductions are listed here. You'll notice we have wellness and non-wellness rates, as well as supplemental fees. The wellness rates are discounted for those that participate and complete their requirements in the wellness program. Non-wellness rates will apply to those who choose not to participate in the employee wellness program or who do not meet the requirements in the time frames provided. The supplemental fees will apply to tobacco users or spouses who have coverage available elsewhere. Your dental plan will be through Assurant. The calendar year deductible is $50 a person, and the maximum benefit that Assurant will pay out on your behalf is $1,000 per covered person. In network, your preventive and diagnostic services are covered in full, your basic services are covered in full, and your major services are covered at 40 or covered at 60% after deductible and you pay 40%. There are no coverages for orthodontic services. 
On this plan, you may use any dentist that you choose. Using a network provider may lower your out-of-pocket expenses and make your annual maximum go further. But if you go to an out-of-network provider who charges more than 90% of the providers in your area, you may owe more uh, because they can balance bill you the difference of the reasonable and customary charge and what they charge. And if you need to find a dentist, you can either go to Assurance website or call Compass. Your semi-monthly dental premiums are listed here. There is no change in your dental cost for the upcoming year. VSP will be the new vision, or VSP will now be through Assurant. They use the same VSP network that you have today. You have an exam copayment available every 12 months for $10. You can get materials every 12 months, meaning lenses for your glasses, every 12 months for $25. You can either get lenses for glasses or contact lenses, but you can't get both in the same year. In network, when you go get frames, you have a $130 allowance. But if you go over that allowance and pick out a higher end frame, you can get that. 130 will be applied and then you get a 20% discount off the remaining amount. And then contact lenses, your allowance is also 130. That includes your fitting, exam, and lenses. Once you exhaust your 130 allowance, you can buy additional contacts with a discount. VSP does not use ID cards. You give them your social security number and they look you up in the system. If you do go to a non-VSP provider, you can be reimbursed up to the amounts listed in the out-of-network column and you will have to file a claim form for that. Listed on the screen are your semi-monthly vision deductions and there is no change in your deductions this year. Flexible spending accounts are just a way to help you save tax money on expenses that you're going to have anyway. There's two accounts, Medical Flexible Spending Account and Dependent Care Flexible Spending Account. It just allows you to allocate pre-tax dollars to pay for your known expenses. Infinisource is the administrator of your accounts and all their information is listed on the screen and in your employee benefit guide. They also have an app. If you'd like to download their app, you're welcome to do so on your smartphone. Flexible spending accounts work by reducing your taxable earnings from your plan contributions. In the example listed here, this person makes $25,000 a year and their gross earnings are $1,041. First column, they're not taking a plan contribution. They're going to keep their taxable earnings the same pay their taxes, and then spend their eligible expenses. In that column, you can see their net spendable income is actually $794. Simply by taking their eligible expenses of $62.50 a pay period and making a planned contribution, that lowers their taxable earnings. Their gross earnings didn't change, their expenses didn't change, but their taxable earnings did. And because their taxable earnings decreased, they paid less in taxes. You can see their net spendable earnings has increased to $810 from $794, saving this person almost $403 a year. The flexible spending account for unreimbursed medical, dental, and vision expenses is just a tax-favored account that will allow you to use tax-favored funds to pay for qualified medical expenses. You can include money to pay for expenses for anyone in your immediate family as long as they're on your income tax return. The yearly maximum that you can set aside is $2,550. And when you incur expenses up to that amount, you can be paid up front for those expenses up to the amount that you elect. When you're budgeting, make sure that you budget for the plan year. So that will be incurred claims from September through August of next year. You will have through the end of November this year to submit your current year claims and then you will have through the end of November next year to submit next year's claims. If your insurance is not with ABC, if you have an individual policy or you're covered under a spouse's plan, you can still participate in the flexible spending accounts. Remember, these accounts are use it or lose it, so don't overestimate.
When planning, it helps to know what kind of expenses are eligible to be used in the flexible spending account. I have a partial list here. Uh, your medical expenses, office copays, prescription copays, deductible coinsurance are all eligible to be reimbursed through the flexible spending account. Vision, your eye exams, glasses, prescription sunglasses, contact lens, even contact lens solutions and LASIK eye surgery. For dental, anything that you have to pay out of your pocket after the dental plan has paid is eligible for reimbursement except for teeth bleaching. Teeth bleaching is considered cosmetic, so anything cosmetic is not eligible for reimbursement. The flexible spending account has a debit card that you can use. The debit card is automatically sent to new participants. If you're already a participant, please keep your current card. Your cards will be programmed with your annual election as the card limit. You can swipe your card for IRS eligible expenses. It can be used for copays, coinsurance, for medical, dental, and vision. Make sure you save all your receipts and explanation of benefits because even though you used your card, we still may need a receipt. You can use your card at allowable vendors, but not for allowable expense, unallowable expenses. So you cannot use it for teeth bleaching or other cosmetic procedures. Your debit card may not work at certain merchants for non-eligible expenses. If we need a receipt, you will receive a letter via email, so make sure when you enroll in the FSA that you register with Infinisource and give them an email. If you don't respond to the first letter, you'll get a second letter in 15 days, and if you don't respond to that, you'll get a third letter. After that third letter, your card may be deactivated, and you may have to repay the plan for the ineligible expense. Paper claims can also be submitted. You don't have to use a debit card, and ineligible expenses will be added to your W-2 as taxable income. The debit card is only for the FSA. It will not work for dependent care. The dependent care account is designed to help you save tax money for your dependent care expenses. The IRS will allow you to take a deduction on your tax return of $2,400 for one child or $4,800 for two or more children. Well, through the flexible spending account, regardless of the number of children you have, you can deduct $5,000 when filing jointly or single head of household, or $2,500 when married filing separately. So if you have one child and you're spending more than that $2,400, you're always going to be better using the dependent care account. The dependent care account does takes your deduction out of your gross annual wages, so you save the tax each and every pay period. Remember, don't overestimate. This is use it or lose it as well. The rule of thumb is if your income is over $43,000, you're going to save more with flexible spending account regardless. If your income is under $43,000, it's usually better to take the IRS credits unless you only have one child and you're spending more than that $2,400. Then it's always better to use the flexible spending account. As a reminder, there are some rules to participate in these accounts. First of all, the expenses must be incurred during the plan year. So in this case, September through August. At the end of the year, you'll have 90 additional days to submit your claims. So that would be through the end of November. All other amounts remaining at the end of the year are forfeited back to the plan. So please be conservative. We cannot give refunds. We cannot switch money between accounts. We cannot carry over to the next year on the dependent care or transportation. So please only fund for your known expenses. ABC provides you with $50,000 of life and accidental death and dismemberment insurance, and this is provided to you at no cost. You may purchase additional life and AD&D insurance for you, you and your spouse, you and your dependent children, or you, your spouse, and your dependent children. But you always have to have coverage first before you can have coverage for your spouse or your children. As the employee, you can elect coverage in units of $10,000 up to five times your annual earnings or $250,000, whichever is less. You can elect coverage for your spouse in units of $5,000 up to $50,000. And they can only have half of the coverage you have. And then you can elect coverage for your children in units of $1,000, $5,000, or $10,000. 
Voluntary life insurance is age rated based on bands of your age, so in five year increments. Your rates are already pre programmed into Web Benefits, so when you enroll, it will give you your cost for the coverage. If you did not enroll last year, you will have to complete an Evidence of Insurability form found on Web Benefits. You must complete this form in order to obtain coverage for any amounts over $20,000. If you enrolled last year and you want to increase your coverage, you will have to complete an Evidence of Insurability form found on Web Benefits this year in order to obtain coverage for any increase over $10,000. And if you were hired after open enrollment last year and you did not enroll in voluntary life coverage, you may do so at this time with no medical questions. If you do not enroll during this open enrollment, you will have to complete the Evidence of Insurability form in the future in order to obtain coverage. And when you're enrolling in Web Benefits, please make sure that your beneficiaries are up to date and that they're appropriate. Thank you. Please make sure you log on to www.ndwillprep.com with the code AEB. If you die without a will, the court in the state in which you reside is going to determine the distribution of your property and money and establish the care of your minor children. You can create your own will at no cost using this website. You have the opportunity to purchase voluntary short-term disability insurance. This is really financial income protection and ensures you to have a paycheck in the event that you are unable to work due to injury, illness, or pregnancy. This covers off-the-job injury only. You can also still work part-time or accept limited duties and you may still qualify for a benefit. Benefits will begin after the 14th day of a covered accident or illness. You will receive up to 60% of your weekly salary to a maximum benefit of $1,000 per week and the maximum benefit period is 11 weeks. A pre-existing condition is a condition for which you have already seen a medical practitioner for or taken medication for in the last six months prior to your coverage beginning. Benefits are payable without regard to pre-existing condition limitations once you've been on the plan for at least 12 months of coverage. There is a bridge benefit that will pay a benefit of 25% of your gross benefit up to four weeks if you are disabled due to a pre-existing condition. If you have been enrolled for 12 months and your coverage increases due to a pay increase, the pre-existing condition limitation will apply to the additional coverage. Long-term disability is very much like short-term disability. It ensures that you have a paycheck or income if you're unable to work due to a disability. It pays a monthly benefit for you instead of a weekly benefit if you're unable to work due to illness or injury. Qualifying disabilities can occur on or off the job for the long-term disability. And as in the short term, you can work part-time or accept limited duties and may still qualify for a benefit. Benefits begin after 90 days of disability, so if you are also on short-term disability, that will just be transitioned into long-term. You'll receive 60% of your pre-disability pay, and the maximum benefit is $7,000 a month. The maximum benefit period is a later of 65 or 24 months. There is also a pre-existing condition limitation on this plan. Any condition that you've seen a practitioner for or taken medication for in six months before your coverage began is considered pre-existing. Benefits are payable without regard to pre-existing condition limitations if the disability occurs after 24 months of continuous coverage or you've had 12 months ending on or before your effective date during which you have not seen a medical practitioner or taken medications for that condition. For those currently enrolled, when you experience a pay increase, your pre-existing requirement for that additional amount begins. Your benefit may be reduced if you receive certain other sources of income. Refer to your certificate of coverage for details.
Accident insurance is designed to reimburse you for expenses that you incur due to on or off the job accidents. There's no health questions for this plan. When you receive your benefit, the money is yours to do with whatever you want, and this plan pays you fixed benefits for specific injuries, procedures, or death as a result of a covered accident. If you enroll yourself, you may also add coverage for your spouse and children. Payouts are based on procedure codes, and the types of covered expenses are things like emergency room, doctor visit, hospitalization, physical therapy, surgery, and the types of covered Injuries are things like fractures, dislocations, burns, etc. The payment examples listed show someone with a broken finger that did not require surgery, emergency room treatment, and two follow-up visits. That gave them a payout of $375. The next is a broken leg with no surgery. You can see they had the broken leg, emergency treatment, ambulance, etc and that payment totals 2650 so everything that you do adds an additional benefit and that check again is sent directly to you and you can keep this plan if you leave employment at ABC critical illness coverage is available for you to purchase it would pay your benefit upon initial diagnosis after the effective date as long as it was not a pre-existing condition within the first 12 months you can elect coverage in increments of $5,000 for yourself up to $20,000, increments of $2,500 for your spouse up to $10,000, and increments of $2,500 for your children up to $5,000. You must have coverage first to insure your spouse or your children, and your spouse can only have up to half of your elected amount. Covered illnesses are listed in the two blue boxes heart attack, stroke, end-stage renal or kidney failure, major organ failure, etc. Your benefit would be paid upon diagnosis 100% of your election. So if you had a $20,000 plan and you had a heart attack, you'd get a $20,000 check. If you have carcinoma in situ, advanced Alzheimer's, or advanced Parkinson's, you would receive 25% of your elected amount. If you have angioplasty or skin cancer, you would get 5% of your elected benefit. If you had angioplasty due to a heart attack, you would only be paid for the heart attack. You would not get an additional payment for the angioplasty. Same thing with coronary bypass surgery. They're going to pay you one benefit per event, and it will be the highest payable benefit. There is a pre-existing condition limitation on this plan. Anything that you have been treated for, taken medication for, or been diagnosed with anything within the 12 months before the coverage began is considered a pre-existing condition and will not have coverage. Benefits are payable without regard to pre-existing condition limitations if the diagnosis occurs after 12 months of coverage. So once you've been covered for 12 months, there would no longer be a pre-existing condition limitation applied to you. You are guaranteed coverage when you're first eligible. If you do not elect coverage during the first 31 days you're eligible, then guarantee issue no longer applies and you may have to provide medical information in order to be approved for coverage. Assurant also has a mobile app if you'd like to access any information from them from your smartphone. Your 401k is through Principal. To enroll in the 401k, contact Principal or go to the Principal website. Just as a reminder, you are always 100% vested in any money that you put into your 401k. Thank you for listening to the presentation regarding ABC Home and Commercial Services Employee Benefit Programs. If you have any questions past this presentation, please call Higginbotham at 1-866-419-3518. We answer the phones between 8 and 5 Central. And if we're busy, please leave us a message and we'll return your call within one business day. Or you can email helpline at higginbotham.net. Please make sure you enroll by the deadline. Thank you very much and have a great day.